Hey everybody, we are here with the what's sold on eBay for what's today? Uh, Wednesday. I feel so. like I look like a little Barbie. Uh, right <laughs> up your alley. You love Barbies. I did have Barbies. Yeah, now you're too cool for Barbies. You grew up. I, no, I just grew up. They made a whole movie, a movie a series about that called Toy Story. I watched one Barbie movie. I can't remember which one it was. You're a Barbie girl. No, it was yeah, like one Barbie of those ones world. I got in like my Happy Meal or something when they gave out DVDs with little movies on them. That's cool. Yeah. You had to be able to afford Happy Meal stuff. They weren't that expensive back then. Anyways, uh, here we are with what's sold on eBay. Where we will talk about reselling, I promise, at some point. Um, how many sales did we have today? Um, today we had 11 sales for a total of... Five sixty nine. Five sixty nine. Nothing wrong with that. Of course, one. Of course, one <laughs> huge sale uh, that really kind of uh, takes the cake here. The rest is pretty you got cool. Got us that five sixty nine. You always have to make some kind of joke. People know that's who you are. Anyways, um, literally one time you didn't make a joke about the shaft, and someone said something. Joe. So Joe did. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and get to it here. First item that sold. Uh, first up, we have this um, cowboy hat. It's a seven and three eight size vintage Resistol. Resistol. You, you could pull it off, I think. I could too if it was this about two times that size. Is this how, it's, how big it's supposed to be? Yes. Obviously, you've never watched any cowboy movie. Let's compare. Yeah, like small. Yeah. But doesn't even go down. It doesn't even go. Well, around. anyways, it sold for seventy dollars shipped. I think it was so. like seven bucks or something. So uh, he's excited to get that. Yeah, happy to get that. We've done really well on cowboy hats. We sold quite a few of them. But. Then cool little tool here. Camera, the tool man, Tanner. Represent. <laughs> so this is a cool thing. It's a like? wrench. <laughs> You're weird. It's, it's actually a half moon obstruction wrench, guys. So we didn't bend this. We bought it like this. Cameron got a bunch of tools, and this is one of the items. This is a 11 or 13 snap-on, and I'm not sure what that means. Millimeters. And <laughs> it sold for $30, guys, for this bent-up tool right here. $30. Look, it's not even like... And it sold overnight. I listed overnight. it yesterday, and it sold before I woke up. 30 bucks, and mine has a little bit of rust on there. It's from a new buy that's going to be called The Stones, because we bought a bunch of stuff from one of my storage unit guy uh not storage guy he buys storage units 500 bucks most of it had a lot oh, of rolling it's like employees no it's because oh. rolling stones were a lot of the well, items that a lot of are stone though no that's not maybe i can't really verify that but anyway so that'll be a new buy and this also this sold. is another one out of there it's a it's a wrench craftsman 15 millimeter 13 millimeter double ended wrench open end wrench Double open ended wrench. Yes. Metric, which we don't know anything about. Well, no, maybe some of us do. Anyways. And that's eleven dollars ship. So both of those sold overnight. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's go in though. The Cameron's favorite. More deodorant. Alba Botanica Aloe Vera deodorant. And this stuff we sold. We sell a pack of two normally, but this person bought two packs of two for forty four dollars. We're running out. Unfortunately, yeah. it's going to be a sad day. There's no more left in the whole world. Well, there is. Probably just but... not at my So my this location. is the brown pair of the Birkenstocks. We just sold the black pair of the rubber ones. And, and they're these like are the water shoes, like brown. we said. Yeah. They're not your typical Birkenstock. They're more of like a watery shoe. So. Yeah, it's weird. Sold... And they sold for $25 shipped, and we did get those with Kylie as those well. Were two bucks. That was pretty Can cool. Can you do priority? <laughs> uh, we'll see about that. And then we got this song book. Number one country songs of the 70s and the 80s right there. I don't recognize a lot of these. Yeah, well. Not really any of them that I can think of. Grandma probably would. Of course she would. But, yeah, she's a country fan. And that sold for 17 and a half shipped. We do really well on those songbooks. Not a lot of money, but they eventually sell. This was a cool piece, though. This is a This Bosch... is a small toilet cover. This is a Bosch mixing no. bowl splash ring cover. So it, you put it on and it guards from the splash. Obviously. Yeah. 
We parted out the Bosch. Uh, we sold the unit for 75. We sold, I think, the blades for 40. We sold a bowl, I think, for 37. And now this for? 35. 35. So that was a good unit. The Bosch mixing, whatever that model number was. I don't think I put it in there, but the Universal Mixer. Look up that online. If you see it in the stores, buy it. You can part it out and make some good money. Then we got a PS4 game, The Last of Us, and this one sold for $23 shipped. That's part two for The Last of Us, just to be clear, whoever's watching at home. My stomach hurts. Well, then you gotta fight through. We got three more items left, huh? Right? Sorry, I ate more ice cream. Weak. Lots of sugar. The bolo of the video. This is an Arc'teryx Men's Beta AR Gore-Tex Jacket, size large. Ooh, For ooh. those of you who are in the reselling and you know what's what, this is a one that I wouldn't say a, it's a rare bolo because oh. it's expensive. And if you can find it for a cheap price to be able to resell it, then yeah. But this is can. the first one I've ever found that was affordable for me to buy. But there yeah. are people who find it for cheaper prices sometimes. Yeah. So, so Arc'teryx is a good brand to look out for because this jacket Cameron bought for... $10. $10 and we resold it for $245 shipped. So I'm a little concerned because there was a couple marks which were in the listing on there. The jacket's in good shape. The buyer can see all that. Um, these jackets go for quite a bit of money. So hopefully there won't be an issue. But good $10 buy. So uh, one of my better $10 purchases of my life. Yeah. And then we got a pair of Harlem Globetrotter basketball armbands, two pack for $7.12 shipped. We made money on those, but uh, not as much when it's just a little one pack. And we actually, to talk about something else, we have 10 items that are missing from the post office. We dropped them off. We have a mail place that we use that takes all of our packages. And then we've never had an issue. They've been picked up there without problem. We got 10 items <coughs> that were... What? <coughs> <clears throat> we got 10 items that were uh, picked up that day, along with about 30 other items that were picked up. And 10 of them show a scan by the USPS driver, where the driver picks up all the items and scans them in. No scan since then at the next at the facility in our town or any facility after that, showing the items have moved at all. And it's been about nine days. Uh, the, we sold one of these a couple weeks ago. That person already opened a case and got their money back because it wasn't moving. Um, I got two other people who have messaged me and I've told them the situation. They're willing to wait a little bit to see what happens. We've opened up cases through the mail USPS website. They're not coming up with anything. I'm going to go down to the post office tomorrow and try to see if we can figure out what's going on. My guess is there's either a bin of our packages sitting somewhere in that post office that has not been scanned or they were left somewhere. Or the, I don't know. I'm not really sure. I don't want to say the mail driver stole them or anything like that, but Something happened because the likelihood of 10 packages all getting dropped off the same day, getting a scan by the driver, and then just disappearing completely uh, from tr Trace is just odd. If it was one or two packages, I'd say maybe they got lost, maybe they got damaged labels. That kind of stuff happens. It is what it is. But 10 all in the same day, they're just sitting somewhere or someone took them or something like that. So very frustrating. It's about $200. One of them is a priority mail item, so we can get our money back on that, hopefully. Um, the other ones, though, are all first class. So... Kind of a bummer. I'll keep you updated. Last item that it sold? He just needed to tell somebody else because apparently I don't react very good. Linda's just like, I don't care. Yeah, I do care. She's it's just, like, it's I used to hear whatever. this sob story every so every like week, once a week because when the I was problem is, EPS, is this so is your business income. Two hundred bucks, you lose. You need to have faith in the post office, honey. It's getting harder and harder to every year. <laughs> I know, but we ship literally probably. I know. 95% of our and I, I will say this about the post office. If I see a delay in the scan for a couple days, but I see that it's moved, I'm usually cool with it. I'll open a case to search for the mail or whatever sometimes, but a lot of times it ends up moving. I had a lot that last year during COVID stuff got lost around Christmas time, and then it started moving all of a sudden. A couple people got their money back, but they ended up reaching out to me and saying they got it. I refunded them. But 10 packages on the same day, that's just weird. That means they're just... Someone dropped them off somewhere where they didn't get scanned and they're just sitting there. And he doesn't want to say it, but he's kind of got like a grudge against the postal guy that's there. So He's kind of a... He's had issues in the past. Not with my stuff, but I've heard of stuff. And he's kind of, you know, doesn't follow through with what he's supposed to do. So, And apparently he was training someone else because he's moving on to a new position. So wouldn't surprise me if he didn't, you know, or the new guy didn't do what he was supposed to do. So anyways, next item. No faith in humanity. This is a military issue woodland marpat camo 
field cover hat, and it sold for $22. These sell shit. so well every time we get them now. We sell. People like that stuff. Yeah. The Even little, if they're not the, the little like Yeah, like the little like almost baseball cover cap ones, they don't sell out as well. They sell for like 14 bucks, 12 bucks, but the field hats, they do the best. Especially in the, the woodland camo one. So that's it. Then we'll be back if anything else sells in the next 15 minutes or so. Probably not because we don't have a lot of evening sales lately. But we both will be back tomorrow. And hopefully Linda will be less tired, more excited, and ready to show you what's sold on eBay. I have so much going on tomorrow. Oh, no. Shout out to my sister who started her first job today. She was so tired when she got home, she didn't know what to do. Welcome to the adulthood of working. <laughs> Just for your information, you have another 40 years of this, so get used to it. <laughs> we love you, we support you, but no sympathy from those of us who still are working. Multiple jobs. I did my time. You worked for like two years. Five. Five years, hooked up with me, and you're like, I am done, I'm coasting. No, she's been working. It was a hard job. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Mr. Sit on my butt and take phone calls all day. I had to lift 50 pound packages every day. Obviously, my job is important because it pays pretty well. Yeah, well, my job was important to some people. It was important. Help, help a lot of people out there. Not important enough for you to stay, though. Well, that's a different issue. <laughs> because she's trying to hook up with the train heading out of town. You're dumb. Anyways, <laughs> we love each other. I promise you. We'll see you guys with tomorrow with what sells on eBay. Hey everybody, we are back with the sales from Thursday. Linda's uh, doing some <laughs> rap for me, personally, her little rap music here. <laughs> little cyclone, but either way, <laughs> how do we do today on eBay sales? Not that great. Um, Today, man, I'm just being honest. No, it was pretty. Our people like honesty. Pretty, pretty lackluster today. Oh, uh, we had eight sales for a total of 195 it's not horrible, but we want to be 300, so it's okay. Hopefully, there's still some time left, so maybe some will come through, and hopefully tomorrow, this weekend will be big for us. Yeah, 300 we'll a day pays the bills. Pays the bills, gives us money to do the fun stuff we want to do, you know. If we can get 500 a day, then we can get the extra, extra stuff we like to do. No. Um, anyways. We can eat off oh, the regular menu instead of the value menu. True, very true. Okay, so anything else you want to say before we uh, do the first item? No. Okay. This one sold like at 12.40 in the morning. Yeah. This is a Wiggles Racing Rainbows backpack. Um, it's cute. It was dirty, but I cleaned it up. And it sold for $45 shipped. That was two bucks. I just knew it was going to sell, and it did. So that was a good little buy there for two bucks. Then we got a Sam Cook CD, and that one sold for $12 shipped. Another, I'm happy with that one, too. I'm really glad these guys sold, because I love clearing out the plush drawer. The bins. We have multiple bins, but yeah. I love when the plush go. These are Disney's Mike and Sully from Monsters, Inc. Um, They're pretty big, uh, but they sold for almost $30 shipped. I don't know where I got them from. I might have spent two bucks on them or something, but anyways, they're out of here. Then we got a four pack of fix We were selling this for a long time. Yeah. This is the adhesive powder, I guess. You mix it with water, probably. <laughs> and it sold for $28 for the four pack. Yeah, we spent two bucks on that. I got one little pack left, so that's good to go. One of those multi quantities. That's right. Then we got the oh, Craftsman. This is another no. one out of Cameron's uh, tool set that he bought. With the Rolling Stone stuff. Yes. And, well, this one's not labeled as that. But it is and... Rolling Stones, trust me. But it's not labeled as that. I'm and telling it you, it so is a 10 millimeter, 11 millimeter uh, double box and wrench. Craftsman. Craftsman. It's the V one. It's V4294. For those, those you guys model number notes. stuff makes matters when it comes to tools. Because that tool sold for twenty dollars. So so far, just on tools, we sold a thirty, a twenty, and like eleven. So we're yeah. what sixty one bucks on three tools, and that's in two days. So pretty good deal there if you can find Get some vintage tools. tools. Little Next Wii up, game. we got SpongeBob's Boating Bash for the Wii, and that sold for $10 shipped. Yep, yep, yep. And then this... we got this Nerf uh, End Strike Shoulder Stock accessory, and that sold for $11 and some change. She's go first class, though, but not a whole lot on this. Just happy to. Linda's always happy when the Nerf bin gets a little bit low. It was this Game, whoa, Game Boy Advance wireless adapter. And it sold for $25. Model shipped. AGB015. This was just in a little Game Boy buy and it was sitting in there. So happy with that. Yeah. And that's it. That's all we got for today. Um, at least for now. We'll see if anything else sells. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you guys regardless in the next video with what sells this weekend. Take care.